Welcome to my channel, I'm Robin Clever, and today I'm in the garden and I'm not doing gardening which is quite nice but I've got Carl. Now Carl and I go back the longest time, back to school. In yep. fact, Carl's my brother-in-law. He's also a chippy like me who specialises in kitchens under the name Cardell Construction. Cardell Construction. Okay. And Carl does a lot of post form worktops and a lot of masons, mitres and that sort of stuff and we're often exchanging notes. We were talking about router bits and we were also talking about battery routers and of course Hikoki have the first half inch battery router to come to site. So you've got a, a Hikoki Hitachi, Hitachi router, a, a cordy yep, one. Yep. So you've come here to show me how you set your masons, mitres up have a go of this as well and i'm going to learn something and also i'd like to see just how good this is now first of all tell me about this particular board you've got well, this is a bush board this is what in my experience is one of the hardest ones you can get right the, the blades go dull after two or three cuts right okay so we've got this is market leading right this is the freud what you call kitchen fitter set so you've got two of the long two flute cutters and then you've got a trimming Cut it out. So we'll try these out. So that's the setup. So basically, Carl, I'll leave you to set this up how you want it. But tell us about your your jig. Is that your go-to uh, jig? Yeah, that's my that's my that's about twenty years old. That yeah, it's one of the best jigs I've ever used. And it's, you know what? It's got hardly any any um, digs in it, has it? Uh, it's got a couple on the edge, just where where it's been dropped and where other people have used it mainly. Yeah. But a lot along this edges here, these yeah. are spot on. I think these have got a couple of little dinks in them, yeah. but. But in, in terms of setting this out, because the first one I used to use years ago, I used to rent it. It was aluminium, it used to come in a big box. Yep. And it used to have all these little ferrules like that, the, the locating pins. And it was really confusing. Yep. And quite often, you had to, I had to literally get the instructions out and read it, read it, read it. Look be it. absolutely sure before yep. I went ploughing into yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, I'll do this two, two or three of these a week. Yeah. And, so, I, and I'll still double check myself. Do you? Yep. Every, every, right. every single time, yeah. Every so, single time. So for the, for the sake of demonstration, this would be the, the female, would it? Yes. And then you're going to put a male into yeah, that? Yeah, we'll put a male into that, yeah. All right. Yeah, exactly so, um, that, yeah. Yeah. And a lot of people um, who try this for the first time don't realise that you do one from the top and one from the bottom. That's right, yeah. And that's... It depends on the way the, the route spins. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And that can also yeah. throw you out, can't yeah. it? Because working yeah. from the bottom of anything is a bit kind of nerve-wracking because you've got the length of the cut sticking through. Yep. And all that business. Yeah, you get a bit of wobble, yeah. yeah. As long as you keep it in your jig yeah. all the time, it's solid. It's, All right. not, it's not nice and safe and sound. Yeah, okay, mate. Well, let's get this thing set up. And okay. also, bought me a present. Happy Believe birthday. it or not, Carl's <laughs> bought me a Festool radio. How about that? <laughs> you, so, which is pretty amazing. You you uh, won this, did you, or some description? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I claimed that through giving... From rewards for fitting kitchens. Rewards for fitting kitchens, yes, And he's yes. kindly, because I don't have my own DAB radio, which is crazy considering I do a, a radio show on DAB. Bring you up to the modern days. I know, so I'll be able to put this on now and listen to all the other trade presenters on fixed radio, uh, which is great, so thanks yep. for that. Right, no yeah, let's have a look at this. Let's try and get it out. So what do you think? First glance, Carl, you got it all out and... It's lovely. It's light, lightweight, feels nice and solid. No battery, obviously, so it's going to be yeah. lighter, but yeah, it feels, feels like a They're good compact, machine. They're compact, aren't they? Yes, yeah, I'm, I'm been excited about this for a yeah. while, about using this. But yes, it feels very nice. I've used it for sort of like just doing uh, stop chamfers, which is lovely because you can do a stop chamfer in situ on a post. Yeah, of course you can. Yep. And yep. Uh, you haven't got that cord, got cord. Or lead and everything yeah. else. So, um, yeah, that's a bit of yeah. speed control, brush this motor as well. Yeah, lovely. And, and the funny thing is, this is the one and only time where you don't mind having a, like a heavy battery, is it? Because no, of course it's not. You almost need that to anchor it down. And, and compared to the other Hitachi, what I've been using, this is, a, is already half the weight. Yeah. So you're not going to get arm ache or fatigue or anything like that. Yeah. Once the battery's in, it'll give it a nice bit of solid. So what solid size guide bush do you need for this? Your you need jig? a 30 mil. Oh, right. Is that what this is? This that's what, what that is, yes. Yeah. So that's one I bought prepared earlier. That's the 30 mil, yeah. right, yeah. And that's industry standard for a lot of your Yes, it is, yeah, yeah. Kitchen and, and, jigs. And this one come out of my original Hitachi, oh, right. and it fits straight in, oh, which that's is handy. great. Yeah. That's handy to know. Um, You've got to find some screws for it now. Got to find some screws for it now. Yeah, what we got yeah. in there? Nice battery, nice heavy battery. Yeah. Oh, look, another, another There's some little screws there. and a little, little thing down there. down there. I didn't bring the glasses, I can't see them. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, so yeah. Got them there, yeah, yeah, I think so. I've yeah. got glasses. <laughs> I'll just borrow them. So between <laughs> us, we'll be able to do a good job. Yeah. Um, God. All right, so let's, uh, we'll set it all up. And he's, yeah. these are the cutters that we're talking about. So we've got the standard two flute cutters there. So there's a pair of those. 
and then there's the trimmer at the back. So you're saying about how many cuts do you expect to get out of a normal router cutter in this bush board? Um, in bush board, uh, in this actual worktop, I've done this last week, these are off cuts. I got one miter on the second miter, it was done. You really? can feel, feel different, yeah. Yeah, really, really, really yeah. struggling. And the, really and, the, struggling. and the funny thing is about all of these things, we only use the first 10 mil of the cutter, don't yes, we, really? that's right. We yeah, have to yeah, do it in yeah, several passes. Yeah, yeah, it's the first 10 mil that's always done. Yeah. yeah, and it's so tempting. I mean, the other thing is with a jig, you couldn't even cut it off the line because you've got nothing to clamp the no. jig to, you know? No. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, it's a bit of a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Have you ever made many mistakes with it? No, never. <laughs> Of course I have. <laughs> if, if, if I said no, I'd be lying. Yeah, I know. Well, we've all done it. Every yeah, chippy watching this will be yeah. thinking, I hate doing that job yeah. no matter how many times you do it. I can't stand it. That's why I don't do it because yeah. I just haven't got the... the um, it's, it gives me anxiety. Yeah, it does. I've got a lot of builders what I do worktops for where they, they fit the carcasses yeah. and just get them into the worktop purely because they don't want the hassle of messing up the mitre. I know. And, I mean, yeah, it, it's... It is difficult if you don't know how to do it or you're not uncertain. Yeah. But as long as you take your time. Yeah. That's stay calm. Key. It's like a lot of things, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, just take your time. Stay calm. That's it. So you've tightened that in there. Oh, look, nice little locking system. That's, yeah, same as the other Hitachi. You just lock it off by that. Yeah, just thumb. lock it off by that. Yeah. Unless you've got a quarter inch collet in there already. So we need to change that. Change that over to the half inch. Oh, look, that's nice. It doesn't even come out at all. Yeah, I know. That's lovely, isn't it? It's lovely, so you you can't you don't lose have... it. Yeah. yeah. I'm looking forward to using these bits as well. Yeah. Take your pick, left or right. Uh, let's go for this one. Okay. I think they're all brand spanking new. I don't think lovely. they've ever seen the light of day, then, so... Lovely. So we're hitting here, we're going to install this up just up to our line. Right, there's a line on the cutter, is there? Yeah, let's see the line now. Now that's important as well, isn't it? Because they're all sort of designed not to um, vibrate yep. or snap or... Exactly that, yeah. So you put it to that line, just slide it in, and then we just tighten it up. Nice little spanner there, lovely. Give it a good couple of turns. Don't want to over tighten it, just make sure it's nice. No, I always find that with a route a bit. I mean, I always find quarter inch ones, you have to sort of give them a good pinch because mm -hmm. they sometimes swim around a bit. Yep. So that's it, that's how it's set up. It's nice. You fine tuned yep. it. Yep, yeah, so we set the router up. Yeah. We're good to go. As you can see our blades now below and our collet yeah. for safety reasons. We yeah, don't nice. want it poking yeah. out or anything like that. And um, yeah, we're good to go. So now we've just got to stick it, set our jig up. Brilliant. So come on then, show me how this jig sets Okay, up. so we know this is a 600 worktop, yeah. 600 wide. So we've got our markings here. All right. So we just whack that into the 600 there. Fine. F. Obviously, female. Fine, okay, fine. So we're going to do a female joint. Yeah. So we slide this forward. Yeah. Put these in here. We have to keep your hands on, otherwise it's going to fall off. Yeah, well, that's what we use clamps for. Fine, so you've got to be careful then. You yep. don't. So now what we need to do, is yeah. now we bend down, we check underneath here, we make sure that this peg yeah. is touching the worktop, the right. cartilage of the worktop. A real good contact there, yeah. yeah. And then these pegs all yes. have to touch the front. Fine, okay. Well, that's fairly straightforward then, that it's, one, isn't it? it? Yeah, that's why I like it. It's, it's nice. I mean, it's yeah. not, it only goes up to 700, yeah. but I'm sure I can adjust it if I need to. And you're using typical rail clamps there? Just, just rail clamps, yep. Because they're That's all we're using, up. yep. Yeah, just make sure they're nice and tight. And out of the way of the base of the router, I suppose, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just double check that. Let's have a good there, good back there. This is the key of all this stuff, is getting well set up, isn't it? Yes, yes it is, yeah, yeah. Right, let's put our battery in. So now what we're going to do when we do our first couple of cuts, I, I like personally, I like to go just down five mil or so, just to break through the surface, especially on this bush board because it is so hard. Yeah. But we're going to keep the router tight to this edge. Tight to which edge? The back edge? To this edge here. Right, yeah. For our first two or three cuts. Then on our final cut, yeah. we go to this edge. So that, that way, if we get any wobble yeah. in the router, yeah. it eliminates it, we, we remove yeah. it. So you, that's a good tip. So what you're saying is, is cut most of the stock out off the yep. back edge, yep. which is not the not yep. like yep. the yep. finished edge. Yep, the side of your yep, yep. And then you can then do a really nice pass. Not, yeah, not a lovely finish on that back edge to get you a, a perfect. I like to go through 10, 15 mil at a time, not yeah. much more than that really, because you don't want to put too much rain in the brow to bit. Yeah. You don't want to burn your motor or your yeah. brow out. Um, you, people do it in two passes, but I like to do it that way. And um, I just do the final cut, on there sometimes, on the face edge. depending on 
if I'm on price work, day work, yeah, yeah. whatever, I, sometimes I'll take the whole thing out on this edge and yeah, then yeah. just do one pass on the back. This is your very first time switching this on. Yes, so, it is. And I'm um, I don't know what size. speed it's on because it's been used before. So uh, It's on number six, so we'll have it on number six. <sighs> let's, let's just try it. <laughs> Sounds nice. Yeah, that's always the thing. Then things wobble themselves free, don't they? Yes. Have you ever had yeah. one that wobbles Comes itself out. out and then yeah. goes fucking yeah. dancing around the Yeah, uh... when I first got my Hitachi, what I use, one of them come out and hit the route oh, up. Nice. Like, oh, nice. Straight through someone's window. Yeah, they need some <laughs> sort of um, some sort of spring or something. Which, something, yeah. To well, hold them. I, I, I remove them now. Yeah, yeah. If you're not, not using the fence, it's a good them. idea, I'd yep. say. Yeah, good, good shout. But... Yep. You just put them in the box with it. Yeah. Right, so here we go. I'm just go for the first pass. Interesting. And again, you've got, there's a little bit of play on the collet there. On the collet. So it's designed not to be tight in not, that gap. Not to be tight, yeah. Hence yeah, so, the reason why you'll run around the backside yes, first. Yeah, exactly. It's only, it's only a couple of mil. It's yeah. not masses. It's just a, a little wobble. So then we're going to keep it tight on this hand, pushing up against this edge. Yeah. Then I have final pass. We keep it tight. I like it, yeah. So, are we ready? We're ready. Ready as we'll ever be. Okay. So I'm gonna go through, set this up for a, just five or five or something or so. Yeah. Right, so now for our final cut, we're going to push it hard against there. Yep, on the face side. On the now, face side, yeah. and come all the way through. First lovely impressions. Time. Lovely. Yeah. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice and solid. It's got plenty of weight to it. The, cut, the cutter is fantastic as well. Is it? The fruit cutters are brilliant. Yeah. yeah. What, what's it like using one without a cord? Because you know you always use one with a cord. Is it, does it make a big difference? Is it really that much? Hell of a one? difference because it's normally around your neck or over your shoulder. Yeah. Or over your arm somewhere, yeah. and then you're tripping as you're moving along. You're doing your cut. You're tripping over it. Yeah. 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 It's fantastic. Yeah. yeah I like. Okay. Good. Yes. And you you did that in in like three, not even four passes. Maybe maybe. Three or four passes, which is quite good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, first time I've used it, I was taking my time, but yeah, I feel yeah. quite confident. So next time I do a worktop, using that, yeah. I'll happily do it in two passes. Do 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 me shallow pass first of yeah. all to cut through the laminate, and I'll happily do it in two passes. Two passes. Yep. And the funny and the funny thing is, it's like it's like getting a new car or a van. Once you get used to it, you can do all kinds of things with it, can't you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, they're good yeah. for playing with. Just it's not just for worktops. So now we're going to do the, which one we're now? The male. The male, okay. The male, yes, we'll do the male now. Excellent. We'll get that all set up. So let's move this over here. Yep. Yeah, I'm excited for that. I like that. Oh, well, first of all, we need to do the bolts. Oh, the, the bolt bolts. holes while we're here, yes. Oh, right, while, yeah. while we've got this one on the, on the deck. Yeah, good idea. So you have to flip it over for that. So we flip it over for that, yeah. So now we're going to turn our jig over as well because we're doing the opposite sides. And now you're putting on your handrail bolt positions. Yep, putting the bolts in. Yep. So oh, that right. one goes. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In there. You, you can use one there, but it's never near enough. No. And then you just simply, you got the two. It is really quite straightforward that jig, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, that's why I like it. It's, like I say, you always have to second guess it and double yeah. check it. But yeah, it's it's really really simple jig. And again, you just do. Same size collet, same size bit. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Yeah, so same bit you just done your work, your mitre with. You do your joints with as well, yeah. So I feel like I'm back at college, <laughs> being, being taught how to do it properly. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> funny, the, fun, uh, the, 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 funny, the funny thing is, as I say, you know, it's like the beauty of our business, carpentry and joinery, is there's such a wide field of, of work that yeah. you can't, you know, very few people do it all, you know. So I love being up on the roof. Yeah, I don't. And you love being in the kitchen. I, I'd much rather be doing this than up on the roof. Yeah, I don't, it's, um, I, don't know, I just find it's more 
enjoyable. It's a yeah. personal preference, isn't it? Yeah. So how deep do you go for these cars? So we're going to go through half of which worktop, which is a 38 mil worktop. So we've got 19 mil. Brilliant. Give or Lovely. take. It's not. It doesn't yeah. have to be yeah. spot on. It's just not normally do it with eye. By yeah, eye rather by than. Eye. Yeah. 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 So put headphones on again. Again, just like the surface. Nice. One pass is on that one. One pass? Yeah, just done the top again, just break through the surface so yeah. you can see where you're going, and then plunge it down to correct depth, which is great. And they're strong old cutters then. Yeah, it's brilliant. Brilliant. And the, the power in this router is, I, I, I personally feel like it's got more power than my Corda Hitachi. Yeah, well, a lot of these new um, battery power tools, they deliver so much power, the technology delivers so mm. much power, and uh, in a lot of cases, um, people, the Manufacturers publish the fact that it's got more power than a corded tool. Yeah, it feels like it as oh, well. It's, good, it's, it? it's, it's, yeah, it's, Let me it's come really, around really there where the light's different. I'm okay, yeah, that come around here. Oh, so come down there, you yeah, can to see it, see it in action. So, what we're going to do is set it up again. Just follow the jig. Do that first one. Literally, roughly. And that's it, simple as that. Just like that. It takes Just like that. It doesn't have to 16. be fantastic, it doesn't have to be perfect no. in there. It's only going to be a bolt. Yeah. Once the bolt's in, yeah. no one's ever going to see it. Yeah, and that's quick, quick as well. Yeah, it's lovely. Beautiful. Yeah, I like beautiful, it. Beautiful, beautiful. I like it. You don't mess around with it, do you? You actually let the thing work, don't you? Oh yeah, of course you do. That's, that's what they're for. Yeah, I mean, you're, you, you really are confident with them cutters because they're solid, aren't they? Yeah, they're brilliant. Yeah. They're really good, really good cutters, yeah. Nice yeah, cutters, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're really sharp. So it's, it's still sharp now. Yeah. There's no dullness on it. You no. can feel it, it's all. Because you want to get at least one corner out of a, uh, out of a oh, at least well, you should be able to, you should be able to get at least two really. T t like maybe a kitchen. Yeah, a horse yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I use. I use one router per, per kitchen. Yeah, and so you price that in, would you? Yep, of course. And you yeah. wouldn't try and sharpen them. No, no, there's no point. I don't bother either because I just there's think no to myself point. that a you might reduce the size of it, which is going to set the geometry out, isn't it? and it it will set the, the, this point on the mitre. If it's different sizes, yeah. it won't it won't meet properly. There'll yeah. always be a gap. Yeah, got it. So you look like a bumblebee with them things on your head like I that. I feel like bumblebee, they're good. Got a year defense on. Yeah. <laughs> Pop them over there. I stand our jig up there. So that's one half of the joint finito. That's our female done. Brilliant, excellent. So you just stick that out of the way now. Yep, and then... so we're just going to move that. Let's put that over there. That's it. Over next to our outdoor workshop. This is our this is our saw bench. This is it suits Eddie more than it suits me because it's so tall. I know I was gonna say that it must be one for Eddie. I know, yeah. This is my bench, it's so low, and that's his that's his bench over there, so high. So now we want to do our male. Male, fine. We're gonna come this way. However, the router bit springs that way. Yeah. So if we put this into here like that. Yeah. It's going to smash this edge up. Do it from the other side, yeah. Right, fine. Yeah. So let's put it that way so we can work on it. Before we do our mail, you obviously you'd be set up in your kitchen. You need to put this on top of your female, set it into position where you want it, get your scribing tool out. Okay, what is this here? Is that, is that, that represents the collet, does it? Yes, it does, yeah. Oh, that's neat. Yeah. I've never seen one of them. Yep. So you just... You've got pencil inside it. Pencil inside it. 
So why don't we get the female back over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try lay that. it in position. Yeah, show us what you mean. So you'd have that in position on the worktop. Yeah, this would be in position on your worktop, yeah. Obviously, if you've got sink cut out or whatever. On the units. Yeah, you'd be doing that as well at the same time before you start this one. So then this one will come along. Yeah. Always cut over size, obviously. Yeah. And you'll put this into your corner. Yeah. So you get it nice and level. Obviously, you'd be on, on your kitchen unit, so yeah. you get your hand up on the kitchen unit. And you literally run this along the top edge of your... Show me. So yeah, you'd, shut, you'd mark that on there like that. Yeah. That, and that yeah. gives you exactly the right... Exactly. Exactly the correct position to set your jig up. Ah, that's genius. Yep. So obviously, I can't here. Yeah, it's not, yeah. not in the kitchen, but... But for, for, for argument's sake, yeah. that would be it. You'd yeah, be so, so this would be... You'd, you'd be up that way, under your kitchen unit, marking that along the bottom of the underside of this. Mm. I didn't even know those things existed. Yeah, fantastic. They're really uh, good. Can you get one on Amazon? Yes, you can, yes. Right, I'm going to yes, put a link can, yeah. in the description. So any kids you fit as you want one of them. You I think they're Trend. Oh, they're by Trend, are Trend, they? Trend, yes, yeah. yeah. I'll stick yeah. a link in the description. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it's called. I'll call, it, I'll call it the Worktop Mark Router. Yeah, well, it sounds like that's the best thing for it. <laughs> let's get out now back up here. And let's do um, imaginary line. Let's just put a line so on So let's say you've got your line on there yep, now. So for argument's sake, let's say the only really important part is down here. Yeah. This is the main important part because obviously the pegs in there will always take it through straight. Right. So okay. if, if we say... That would be, this is the scribe line that yeah, you just got there, yeah? Yeah, yeah just that point there is all we're going to mark. So we put our two pegs in M, well obviously M for male. Yeah. F for female. And we've got our line along here. Let me have a look at this. So you've actually, side. that's your scribe line. Yeah, that's put, our scribe line. And that actually sets the would jig. come round there, obviously, it, it, when we do it. So you, you put these up tight to your worktop. Yeah. And then you line this line up with this part. It's really quite straightforward, isn't it? Yes, it is, yeah. Isn't it? It, it's not difficult, but you just have to remember what part you're doing. Yeah. Otherwise, it can go drastically wrong. Yeah, I like it. And then you clamp it on, and away then you just go. Just clamp it on the way you do go. Do you know, yep. put no more pegs on then? No, well, what I tend to do sometimes, again, depending on where I am, circumstances, what bench I'm using, I've drilled some screws holes in this. Oh, that's genius. So I can screw it. And what else I like to do on all work, that's when I'm doing upside down, is screw that side so it catches so, the off cut yes so exactly doesn't, that doesn't yeah. snap the last bit of laminate it, out yes it will yeah it'll break the last bit of like, like, laminate out yep oh, and that's is... exactly what we don't want to do so that's it that's we screwed this on catch our off cut we've got our now marked out we know where we've got to do it go headphones on so we'll lower that down and again we're going to come off this edge then do our final cut on that edge Lovely. How was it? Great. Is that it? You yep. finished the whole thing? Finished, yeah. Well, yep. you know, it did take a few, yep. minutes, few seconds and it's yep. done. I enjoyed that one. Yeah. So, uh, so did you did that, that in one. three passes virtually? In, in three that passes, score yeah. score in one, then the, then the first and the second. Yes, I could have done it in two, but still getting used to the route. The first one, yeah. really yeah. using it. So, but yeah, I'd happily done that but in two. Once, attaching once that on there was genius though, wasn't it? Yeah, it just saves the breakout. When we yeah. take it off, you'll see. Yeah, that's genius, isn't it? It's perfect. Yeah, there's no breakout No, there's no breakout no, at all. No breakout yeah, at all. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this is the important side. Yeah, yeah quite, but yeah. Pretty tough stuff though, isn't it? This bush board is really hard, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So now you'd leave that there and put the handrail bolts in. Put the handrail bolts in. Yeah, that's a good modification screw it on. Yeah, I, I made the pilot hold myself. Yeah, that's a good idea. So Pink. now, the same as before, we flip her over. Yeah, and just use We've the same. We've got our bolt holes. It tells you exactly where to put them. You can't yeah. go wrong. Yeah, one. One. Two. Two. We will use three. You could use two, but yeah. again, we push it up tight. By there. Yeah. And in there. And you could screw this or and you this could. this side, yep, you can screw it or clamp it. Yeah. This time, I think we'll just screw it. Yeah, done, up and, here. done and dusted, didn't it? Yeah. 
and even one screw holds it because of them pegs. It does, but I still want to put two in just, just to make sure. Belt and braces. Yeah, that's it. Belt and braces, lovely. So we're on the same battery still, and that only had still the same battery. That had half a, it was only half charged that particular one. Well, so yeah, and it still it still feels just as strong as what it did when we first started. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? It'll yeah. probably give up on us now, but it wouldn't matter because we got another one ready. Yeah, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it. It feels like it's got plenty. Yeah. There you go. Brilliant. Beautiful. So that's our joint almost ready then. That battery's still going strong. That's amazing, isn't it, actually? Because yep. as I said, they only had two, two bar of four in it um, when I put it on. This one is the this one is the fully charged version. That only had half charge. So that's interesting to know as well, isn't it? We're still we're still going. It's got one bar so left. Got, so it's going. It's used a quarter of its battery on that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and that's one complete mitre. Yeah, that's good. And the cutter still feels all right? The cutter still feels perfect. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, good. I'll happily do another workshop with that. Oh, that's good. Now oh, that's that then. And that's that. Brilliant. And that is that. I like it. So now we could turn that over there, like so. Yeah, and I'll clamp it on for you. Shuffle that along. That's right, we'll get this one. It's a pretty, uh, it's, a, it's an amazing fit when you yep. think about it. Look at that, look. Yeah. So once you get your colour fill in there. I love it. Look at that. We should always use colour fill. Yeah. should always use it. And considering you're doing this in my garden on a floppy bench at a funny a height. Bench, yep. Pretty, pretty amazing, isn't it? It's yeah. really hard stuff, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, this bush board is really, really hard. So really hard. Okay, I want you to tell me: is it a goer for you then? The um, high cokey yes. half inch. Definitely, cordless? definitely. Yeah. With, with the Freud rattle bits. So. With, with the Freud rattle yeah. bits. Yeah. And that's coming from a fully fledged professional kitchen fitter, not me. I've done about professional. <laughs> uh, I know you're good, you're great at kitchens, man. I tell you, there's no doubt about that. But. Um, yeah, so there you go. It's going to be on your Christmas list, I expect. Definitely. I'm going to go and buy one next week. Yeah, and have you enjoyed appearing on the channel? Yep, great fun. Yeah. As so anyone know. wants to reach out in the sort of the South Coast area for kitchen fitting, reach out to Carl. I'll put look a link in the description to his number and Instagram and what have you. Yep, look me up. <laughs>